Hello and salut everybody. Welcome back to Chatting with Nicole. If you have not subscribed or you're new, please do me a favor, subscribe right now. Share this video, like, and also check out the rest of the videos. I have some videos out there that if you're new, um, they may be of interest to you. So please check them out. And But most importantly, please subscribe and also share. All right. You know how much I appreciate your support. I really do. So I want you to just share this video. Um, check out the rest of the videos out there. Um, subscribe if you have not subscribed. So thank you very much for your support. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening to me. So as I promise you, I have one more topic I want to discuss. Um, and I did not want to overwhelm you by posting both of them. So I'm sure you are getting this. <laughs> you are getting this uh, on a different day. I don't know if you already listened to the first one. Things you shouldn't do while you're dating part two. And uh, this one is a special one. And this one is for my African man. So you African men out there, my African men out there, I want to hear from you. I want to know your thoughts. I want to hear from you specifically. And I also want to hear from my African women. And those of you who are the reason why I am doing this video, who have asked me this question, I also want to hear from you. If you have other questions, I want to hear from you. All right? So with that being said, the question of the day is, why aren't African men romantic? <laughs> you hurt me. I've been asked this question over and over and over. Sometimes even us African women, we complain about it. And this is something that, you know, has been asked to me so many times for so many years. And I feel like this is the best time for me to discuss that. So we are going to chat about why aren't African men romantic or are they romantic? Because I want to know if you guys want to disagree, like wonder why would they ask this question? Yeah, you know, that's what I want. I want to hear from you. We want to hear from you. <laughs> we want to know why people are asking this question. So so that I don't drag this video on and don't get into the needy greedies, I'm just going to keep it to the high level. So over the years, when I get this question asked, why aren't African men romantic? I ask the question, is being romantic what is more important to you? Is romance more important to you because chances are if you're complaining all the time about this person this man not being romantic and you are still with him chances are romance is not what is more important to you so I ask the question why are you with them and the answer is he takes care of me he's a responsible man he respects me he takes care of my children to go farther when it comes to nigeria man they say he spent a lot of money on me he spoils me he let me have good time he buy things for me he gives me money all of you out there, ladies, you know, beautiful ladies, all of you out there who are wondering or questioning, why aren't your African, you know, husbands, your African man romantic? I want to give you the answer that I have always, the explanation, uh, the justification I have always given when this question is asked to me. After I ask them the question that I just asked, and I give you the answer. 
And this applies to, you know, not our new generation now. I'm talking about my generation, my brother's generation, you know, the older generation. Um, so this is what I know, what I experience. So that's why I told you guys, my African man, my Africa, beautiful, strong man, responsible African man, I want you to chime in. If you want to correct me with anything, I want you to chime in. All right. So first, I try to make everybody, I, I, I made them understand our culture, where we come from. And I will start with the young man and I will say, as a young man, when you are born as a man, your father's responsibility is to raise you as a strong man, responsible man, to be able to take care of your family, your children, your wife. That's the priority, to raise you to be responsible man, to be the man of the house, to be able to take care of your family, your wife, your children, and everything that they will need. That is a priority. Then comes education. But nothing about how to be romantic. Nothing about romance. Because that's not what is important. What isn't important, what is the most important number one thing for African father is to raise his child, his young man. He's a, a, a boy, I should say. Raise his boy to stand on his own feet. Raise his boy to be a responsible man, to be able to take care of his family, to take care of his, his wife, his children, to be the man of the house. Be a strong man of the house. So being romantic... It is not a priority. And his father's father did not teach his father how to be romantic. He did the same thing for him. So he will do the same thing for his young man, his boys. So that's why when you see African man, strong, beautiful African man, they take care of you. They are responsible. They are men of the house. They take care of you. They take care of the children. They take care of their responsibility. But what you don't see and you are missing and you're asking the question is romance because romance is not a number one thing. Romance is not something he was taught. Romance is not something he was told he need to do. Romance is not something he saw his father do because his father was not raised to be rom <laughs> romantic. Romance was not an important thing. It's now that we are feeling this. It's now that we are seeing this, we want this. But the reason why, and you African man, again, I'm repeating, I want to hear from you. It's because our African men, African boys, back home in our culture, are not raised to be romantic. Because romance, it is not a priority. So to them, they are doing what they're supposed to do. They are being responsible, man, man of the house, strong man, taking care of you, taking care of the kids, making you comfortable as they should. So being romantic is just nothing. Being romantic, <laughs> that is not important. But let's keep in mind that discussing this does not mean all African men are not romantic. So let's get that straight. Because there are other African men. There are other African men out there who are romantic. I know some who are romantic. And some of them, their definition of romance may be different than your definition of romance. But they are in their own way. So it's just, it just depends. But I want you to know, I just want to educate you to know the upbringing 
that we have in Africa, when a man is raising his son, what is the most important? How they are raised. That's why you see them strong. That's why you see them help, you know, supporting you, being the man, being responsible, making you comfortable because of how they are raised. Romance is not as important. It's not important. But nowadays, we see the movies. We see other relationships. We see other people. And then we use that against them. Even us African women who know this culture, sometimes we, we, we blame them for it for not being romantic, even though we know, because of what we see, because of the movies, because of the shows, because of our friends, because of so, so, uh, social media. So I hope that I shine a light on this question. But before I go to the women, because I'm gonna to talk to the women, I want to, to tell you that if, you are with this man, this strong, you know, responsible, loving African man. And what you are missing in your relationship is romance. And it's that important to you. All you got to do is give him a little bit of push. Teach him a little. Teach him your definition of, of, of romance. If you love flowers, tell him. Tell him what you like. Teach him. Don't just say it, but maybe do it. Invite him. Show him. Let him be that for you. Because he's capable to. Because he's capable. So don't let the romance get in the way of the great man, the strong, responsible man that he is. So just introduce that into the relationship. Teach him. And I promise you, he will get it. He will be as romantic. Your definition of romantic that you want. So that is my recommendation to you. If that is important to you and it just bugs you. And you want to be with this man. You know that he's the man for you. Just teach him. Push him a little. But don't let the romance block you. Don't let the romance mess up this great relationship that you have. And to you, my strong, responsible, beautiful African men out there, when your lady is teaching you or trying to push you a little, telling you what she wants, how romantic, their definition of romantic, be open-minded. Be open-minded. Try it out and see where it gets you. Try it out and see where the relationship goes. That is my recommendation for you. But I also want to hear from you. Now, just a little bit about us African women. We have the same upbringing. Just like the young, you know, young boys and young men or older men. It's the same thing with us as well. When we are born as a girl, we are raised to be a mother. We are raised to be able to take care of a household. We are raised to be able to take care of our children. We are raised to stand our own feet, to stand on our own feet. We are raised to be a strong woman, responsible, mentally, physically strong women. We are not raised to be romantic either. We don't, see our, we don't see our mothers kissing our fathers or our fathers kissing them either. So we need to start blaming our man, our African man, and teach them. Now that we know, now that we, we learn and we seen romance and we want to feel and we want to experience romance, we want to introduce that in our relationship, in our lives, let us teach our man, let us work together and bring the romance into the relationship, into the marriage. So that's what my recommendation for us African women. If you want the romance, you know we were not raised to be romantic. We didn't see our parents do it. 
but you want it because it's important. Every woman wants to be, <laughs> every woman wants romance. That's what you want in the relationship. That's what you, you want from your man. Remember, your man cannot be romantic by himself. So if you, it's not in you, it is not going to work. African women, you know where we come from. You know our upbringing. You know how we were brought up. So if you want a romance in your relationship, you have to be willing to do the same thing. You have to be willing and be ready to offer that romance to your man as well. Because you cannot be complaining about him not being romantic, knowing that he wasn't raised to be romantic, but you are complaining about him not being romantic. He cannot be romantic by himself. You have to be willing. You have to be ready to give him to do that too. So unless you are ready, stop complaining. But if you really want it, it's important to you, then invest in it yourself. Do the work yourself. You both have to do the work yourself. Because romance can't just come one way. It's not one, one way street. You both have to do that. You both have to put the effort. You both have to try the different things. The stuff that you like. You both have to teach each other. So stop complaining. Stop talking about it. And do something about it. And get your relationship to the next level. If it is that much important to you. So. That's what I have for you today. What do you think? How are you feeling right now? What is going on in your mind right now? Am I right? Did I miss anything? Do you have something to add? Do you want me to know something else? Do you want me to touch on something else? Well, let me know. Put it in the comment section and let us continue this chatting. Let us continue these topics. Let us continue learning and teaching one another, educating one another. Can we do that? So I want you, your fa the favor that I want from you is to share this video with every single person you know. You should go to every single person that you know, even those you don't know. Even if you don't know that they're interested in African men, I still want you to share it. Stay safe and blessed, and I'll see you on the next video.